All right, it is time for another episode of Ink Transfer Drawing with Mark Zimmerman, brought to you by Sanford Arts. My name is Mark Zimmerman, and I am rolling a ink out on a sheet of plexiglass. And then I'm going to put some paper over that ink, face down. I'm going to draw and rub on the back of this paper, transferring the ink to the front, creating an ink transfer drawing, and then I'll splash a little bit of watercolor on it and we'll see what happens. First thing I want to know is where the ink is. And I've got it inside a, a rectangle of tape. And if I can find that corner, then I can drag this pen along the edge of that tape. It tells me where I need to do my drawing. Also gives me a nice border when I'm all done. Okay. I'm going to um, I'm going to draw a sheep. I'm not sure why. Cuz I kind of have a cool picture of a sheep. So I'm going to draw it. Working on its eye right here. And she's got some long lashes. And so the pressure of the pen on the back of this paper is transferring ink to the front. Uh, lighter pressure transfers less ink. More pressure, of course, transfers more ink. So I'm going to come way down over here and draw her nose. I want to make sure I get it in here, so I'm going to jump over here and put it in. Uh, what? There's a sheep nose. Sheep top lip. Bottom lip. Let's come back in here before we forget. Draw some draw some wool, I guess. I'm going to transfer ink by just touching something too. Um, just a little bit up in there. See. Um, 
some eyelashes there maybe something anyway I'm not sure those are even eyelashes so maybe we won't call them that try not to think of them that way um, got a little ear here And oh, the woolly part comes way down in here and then up. I'm looking at a photograph, pretty obviously. I don't know sheep that well. Woolly, little woolly. Oh, pen's not working. Let's get that thing restarted. There we go. Uh, it's quite dark up in here. I'll be under that ear. And it's kind of woolly. And what? Right here we get a little line of wool. And better not forget this. What are we about right here? little woolly there too and shadowy and shadowy here too Somehow it looks a little, there we go, that looks better. Um, I think I want to divide this space up into, um, I just want to line down here. And, I think we'll come back in here behind the sheep. Oh, maybe you better put a little shadow in here and up in here too. Let's just keep doing that line. Eh, let's call that good enough. And let's make it really dark down in here. So lots of pressure with my finger. I'm trying to concentrate that pressure into a small spot. Let's see what we got. 
because you never really know what goes on underneath that paper. There we go. Now yeah, let's take one more peek. Uh, I threw my pencil way over there, or my pen way over there. There we go. I think that should do it. Let's get the ink out of here and splash a little watercolor on our sheet. And in case I want to do a bit of a wash, I'm going to put a board underneath so I can tip it in various directions. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, it's just a slight reddish tint there, a little red tint here and here, a little red tint here. Tint, I keep saying tint and um, Tint is just a light color, usually a color plus white, but in watercolor there's no white, or at least not in my palette, and um, so it's really just transparent, watery paint that lets the paper show through and so the paper provides the white. I'll just put a teeny shadow down in here. So this is just a little bit of color to suggest that it's a cooler shadow than you might get otherwise. And then We come back with an earth tone, but I think I'm going to change my mind about which earth tone. I'm going to go for the raw umber here. And oh, that's way too dark, Mark. One solution for dark is to pick that up, let a little more paper show through. Hmm. And I think I'm going to come back with that same color I put a shadow in with. And this time I'm going to use a little more a little darker, a little more intense color. So I'm using gravity now to help me move this paint down the 
down the paper. So gravity is pulling this paint in the direction I want it to go. Just tipping it. Whoa, and dripping in just the right spot. Did you see that? That happened pretty fast. So I'm picking up paint over here where I have a little much, putting it over here where I need it. Different color here. A little burnt sienna. Again, letting gravity move it. Kind of want that to bleed in there, so I just touched that blue a little bit. Um, rinse that a little bit and come back with just a little, little more of that brown in here too. Soften that a touch. And I think we'll just, we'll sign them in pencil. So I'm just going to call it. We'll call it the lamb and sign it. Zimmerman and date it 2020. And there's the lamb. You see what I was looking at? Actually, might as well get a peek at that too. You can see that it comes out backwards when you do it. And anyway, there it is. Hope you had fun watching. I had fun playing around. Bye for now.